administrator has been painting the American scene to the delight of millions of us for 48 years. And in recent years, his models, subjects, characters have been drawn from among his friends and neighbors in Stockbridge, Massachusetts, where he lives and works. There we are. Are you there, Norman? Yes, Ed. Uh, <laughs> we're here, and welcome to Stockbridge. Thank you. It seems like big doings on Main Street tonight. Oh, yes, all lit up. <laughs> out of town. <laughs> How many hours a day do you spend in that studio? Oh, I'm, I'm out here uh, very early, 8 o'clock, and uh, uh, here, Ed, is the uh, studio. Uh, I'm very fond of it. I hope you like it. I do. Norman, yeah. that, that's one of your wartime Four Freedoms paintings, isn't it? Well, this one is the freedom of speech that I did. Well, I did it for the Saturday Evening Post, and then the government uh, used it. And this is the freedom of worship. Oh, yes, I remember that very well. And uh, I did those in Arlington, Vermont, and these are, as always, my neighbors, the neighbors that were, uh, that lived with me, uh, near me there in Vermont. Do you have any idea of how many copies have been made of those paintings? I, I don't really know. I know it, it runs into millions and millions. Uh, the, uh, as I say, the Saturday Evening Post featured them, and then the government took them over. In fact, they're still using them, I think. Last week uh, in the New Yorker, they had one of them, and uh, uh, an ad for uh, for the bond sales, mm. the United States bond sales. I imagine there are very few Americans who haven't seen those paintings at some time or other. I imagine so. Norman, uh, you've been identified with the Saturday Evening Post for many, many years. When it, did you do your first cover for them? Well, Ed, uh, uh, this happens to be the original of the first cover I did. I don't know whether it was before you were born or not. <laughs> It was in 1916. Well, at uh, 40, what is it, 43 years ago, about that. And uh, this is the original of it. In those days, we used only red and black. Mm -hmm. How many have you done since? Well, I think somebody counted, I think, over 320. Well, uh, how do you go about doing them? If you'd like, I could go through some of the stages of my work. Yeah, please do. Color. Well, I, uh, these are some... Uh, uh, photos. You see, uh, uh, I work from photographs. Practically everybody uh, works from photographs these days. It's about the only way we can work. Everybody's so busy. Now this uh, picture here, very briefly, uh, shows a setting I used for this jury picture. Yeah. And we took photographs. We may have taken, oh, a uh, hundred photographs of different poses of these people. You see, it. you don't, you don't, uh, just take a photograph and tint it. You reassemble mm -hmm. it and change it and so on. Yes. Now, uh, then after I've taken the photographs, I uh, make a drawing, and uh, this is this will be on paper. It was the same size as this. I, it's smaller here. Yes. Then I uh, start the painting. I put it on the canvas, on this canvas here. And uh, this is a stage showing where I've painted some of them. You see this... Uh, the, the girls finished and some of the other models are, are working. This maybe is two weeks after I started this. You see, it's a long yes. job. Uh, Norman, after a tough day's work, after you and Mary have washed your brushes and put them away, how do you spend the evenings in the Berkshire there in Stockbridge? Well, there's a lot to do. Uh, uh, for instance, uh, not in the evenings, but in the daytime, I go to Peggy Best sketch class on Wednesday afternoons, and then I also... Maybe I'm tearing paint rags. You see, we use a lot of paint rags to wipe mm -hmm. the paint uh, off with. And so I use this uh, uh, diaper cloth, and it's, uh, it's a wonderful cloth. It's uh, not only absorbent, but it, uh, it doesn't go through. Well, I'm sure that uh, you're eager to get to doing that right now. Norman, thank, thank you very much. much.